I understand that you're studying the effects of global warming on plants and animals. And I have an example here where, you know, over the last 10,000 years that we've had a fairly stable climate on Earth, a lot of relationships between different types of animals have developed. And this is an example. Here we have birds arriving April 25th. And they arrive and they lay their, build their nests and lay their eggs. And their eggs hatch about June 3rd. So the birds arrive and the eggs hatch June 3rd. And June 3rd, according to this, is exactly when caterpillar season. So all the caterpillars have hatched. And that's great because these baby birds now have caterpillars to eat. It's like when you go home from school and you arrive and there's a snack ready for you to eat. But what happens with global warming is that the caterpillars, because it's warmer, the caterpillars are hatching sooner. The birds are trying to adjust by having their eggs hatch a little soon. They can't really do it. And what happens is that by the time the eggs have hatched and the baby birds are there, the caterpillars have already disappeared. And so the kids arrive home and there's no food, which can be really sad. So this is one of thousands of examples of how when the Earth's temperature changes and spring comes earlier, uh, that we have problems in the animal kingdom.